Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I have got a little bag opening and this one is from a company called Outdoor Tide and I want to thank them very much for sending me these items. Someone actually asked, why are you doing craft things when it's got nothing to do with crochet? I started this channel with arts and crafts and then I moved into crochet. So when you get offered by a company that will you do a collaboration, I am like everyone else. I've just got to do what I have to do to pay my rent and pay all my bills. And I do do diamond art as well. So a lot of it is that focus. It's the things that I like and I know that a lot of my subscribers do as well. I know there are thousands and thousands of my followers that do diamond art as well. But anyway, this is why I'm doing these box openings. So I'm going to open this up. And let's see what we have. Now, some of this, I always choose things that I know that people might be able to use as gifts or be able to do themselves. I haven't been getting a lot of the big, big diamond painting pictures because I've still got a couple to do. So I've been concentrating on smaller things. And the first thing I've got is these coasters. Now, Coasters are easy. This makes a lovely gift as well if you know someone who enjoys it or even if they've never tried diamond artwork. It's a bit like painting by numbers but you're sticking these little gems on instead. Now you get the metal tray with this. I'm going to open this one up. Now Outdoor Tide does, it says outdoor, it does outdoor ornaments, garden ornaments garden things it does crochet it does knitting it does cross stitch it does painting by numbers so even if you like the old painting by numbers there's so many brand new designs out there is diamond art like this now it's not just a picture it's not just a picture some of the thing i've got a couple of other items in there and honestly this is just so it's so versatile now. I'm going to throw that on the floor and Motley's going to take it. Now, when you get this, you get all the diamonds that you need. You always get a little tray and a little pokey stick. You get this little pokey tool. And what you do is you push that pokey tool into the putty, soft putty. Now, I do recommend that I found that if you get blue tack instead of that, Putty. it works a lot better to hold your diamonds you get a little ridged tray you shake your diamonds out and then they'll fit themselves into little lines and you just use that pen you pick them up and you put them onto these now I'll come down just a little bit now you might think this is £9.56 if you spend over, I think it's like £50, you get free postage. But the postage is only a few pounds anyway. Now, look at these. Now, would you ever have thought that you could do diamond artwork like this? So, these are easy. Look at these. These are small. They don't take up hours and hours and hours of your time. I think there's 10 in this. So, these work out about 99 pence not even a dollar each these you get all the diamonds that you need for it there is a little grid actually on these it, these ones have got like number six number one number six number 13 number seven they're all numbered and what you do is you take the corresponding packet with the corresponding number these ones are number 13 and you'll pop them where it tells you that number is. And they come out beautiful. There's one, two, I'll move these out of the way. Three, that one's pretty. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's going to be pretty. And number 10. 
and they're all big enough. I haven't got my coffee cup up here with me. Um, oh, let me use this. I've got my little mug that I've got my on. And they'll sit there. And they will take the heat of your coffee cup. The diamonds are all flat back, so they will stick. Now, you might think, oh, that's not sticky, but it's got a little covering. You just need to carefully... These are wooden. You can get ones that are... Oops, can't get that off. That You can get ones that are plastic. Oops, there we go. Now, they've got this plastic coating on, and that is really... Listen to that. That is really sticky. Now, once you've got all your diamonds on, then you'll be able to sit your cup on there. Your cup won't stick to it because it'll be sitting on top of these raised diamonds. Now, look at these ones. These are called round drill ones. They're all round. And they're all beautiful different colours. There's quite a few packets in there. And you'll just pick the packet this one is number 11 and you'll put it on any ones you've got that are corresponding that says number 11 down there and around there beautiful so there's 10 in this and you get the cradle to keep them in now i'm not saying that's going to hold very much of a cup but if you've got Say something like this and you don't want your hot coffee cup or tea cup sitting there. It will sit on there. And you know what? You can make them up and stick them to the wall. You could put some double-sided tape or even blue tack on there. And you can actually just stick them on the wall in your bathroom or on a child's wall out of the reach though. And you can do that and they'll just all... Sit back in there once you've done them all. I really like that. And they've got about 30 different designs of these. They range from six in a pack. And some of them have got eight in a pack. Some have got nine. And some have got, this one's got ten. And they're varying prices. But there isn't any that are over about £11. And that's quite good for a whole set like this. And if you're like looking for something for someone just to try, oh, try it yourself just to see what it's like, then a little set of these is, but it's addictive. It is addictive. It's very addictive. So the next thing I got is this. Now, I expected the box for this to be bigger. I'll take that box out and that bag's empty now. I thought it was going to be bigger. Now, there's about 15 different styles of this. Now, this is a tree. It's a little coffee tree or tea tree. Well, I thought it would be a good thing to get to set my tablet on when maybe if I'm sitting in bed watching something or even my phone or even my cup of coffee <laughs> now what you get again I'll move that bag out of the way you get all the diamonds you need you get a little tool and they've even given you some bags in there to put your spare diamonds a lot of the time there's always extra diamonds now there's a set of screws and a screwdriver now oops that, i'll leave that all attached here there's a plastic backing here there's a plastic backing i don't know what that's for we'll find out there's all the instructions steps for usage and there, now I got this because I thought it looked like Muttley. One of my sisters, when I showed her it, she says, oh, that's ugly. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's just like a psychedelic. Do you know what caught, caught my eye was this? It's like a little smiley face there, isn't it? But it looks just like Muttley. I'll get, look, look at this. 
So that's that's Motley. That's my dog. He's a Dachshund. He's a silver dappled Dachshund. And look at that. Isn't it pretty? It looks like a Dachshund, doesn't it? Anyway, I was hoping it was going to be a bit bigger. But you could actually just use this as a picture. You don't need to use it as a table. So I take it that as the base of the base of the tree and there's handles and a couple of sides that's the sides that's the long sides and you're going to screw that together with that plastic as your base and you're going to pop that into it and then put all that wood around it easy enough to guess what it is there you go it shows you how to do it so you slide your picture in Oh, that must be transparent. It says there's a transparent... Yes, there is. You peel the paper off of that and it's like a piece of clear plexiglass. That's good. That's good. You put... You do... You do your diamond artwork. You just peel the backing off and stick. Again, it's all numbered. And you use the corresponding number to the packet. Cover it in your diamonds, then you build your little frame. You take the covering off that that part there. You screw it together. You put your picture in, and then you put that clear plastic covering over the top. There is a little gap in between it. Do you know you could stick a little picture of your own dog in there actually. And there's all different ones. I did see that butterfly. I did see that. So that is really easy. I mean, if you've got like a teenager and they're a bit bored and they like art, or if you've got any anyone, I would say from maybe about six years old and up, maybe even, I mean, they would really like to stick these. Just find the number. A bit like painting by numbers. They also do painting by numbers where you could buy this as a paintwork where you'll put your paint in where it tells you on it with the numbers exactly like it is paint by numbers. Number one, you pick number one paint up, number one, you'll pick number one diamonds up and put them in that area. That is pretty, it's a lot prettier than it looked on the website. I'm disappointed about, I'm, I'm not really disappointed about the size. I, the bigger they are, the longer they take to do. And sitting with your, you need to make sure you're sitting upright and you've got a nice high desk like I have to do this so you don't get a sore back. But it is addictive. You do this, you start doing this and then it's like four hours later. You think only a, a, like an hour or so has passed and it's not. So that is really, a, I, I like it. I really do. See, Anne, it is pretty. <laughs> My sister Anne said it was ugly. <laughs> but you're not getting it. <laughs> so I'll put all that back together. And I'll see if I can get it back in the box. And last thing is this. Now, I don't know why it wasn't all closed in. Well, it came apart in that bag and tossed around in the postal van is this little kit now look at it again i'm saying to you that diamond painting doesn't need to be all pictures that you frame up i am going to do this and put it in my kitchen there is a little mechanism here and all the parts that i need to make a wall clock and there's even a hanging chain and again, you get your little dibber, you get your little tree, your putty, all the bits you need to make this really pretty clock. And again, it's it's wooden and you've got the holes to hang it up so that you can hang it up. You could always just put a hook on the back. And again, it's a numbered one. So you'll pick... The numbers, you can see number fours around there. And again, you find the packet that will have number four. But you see this though, they've got coasters, they've got trays, they've got clocks. 
they've got hanging thing they've got those sun catchers as well there's chimes music boxes it's not just all pictures that you frame up and put up on your wall I've had a few people that have said to me, I don't want to do that because I don't want to do a picture and I have to frame it and put it on the wall. You don't need to just do pictures. There's lots of other things that you can do. There's gift boxes and that's what will catch my eye for next time. I'm going to leave all the details that you need underneath the video. And again, I want to thank outdoor tide for sending me these i'm going back on their website to look see what they've got for the garden i need to get all my garden all done up so there's loads of different ornaments and ideas and there's resin molds there's lots of different things on their website and and i hope you take the time and go and have a look because there's still time to get gifts got a 50 percent sale on at the moment as well and thank you so much for watching please subscribe to the channel and if you click on the bell icon youtube will tell you when i put up another tutorial or a video they'll let you know that i've uploaded something so happy crafting regardless of your craft whether it's knitting crochet diamond art any craft if you're out there mixing up your cement and making your garden ornaments and things Happy crafting to everyone and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.